thank you very much for taking thank this time you. out. I know you have to get back. Yes, you're in I a really scene. and truly am going back to do a scene now. And you're going to hear our horn honk and lots of weird noises oh, now. Oh, wonderful. But, I thought it was my stomach But a it was really ago. lovely to see you again. Take thank care you. of my friends, thank okay? Thank you, Kay. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, Chris, would you come in, please? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm very good. Listen, I'm having trouble with this line reading. Can you help me out, Mike? Yeah. It's you... supposed to be a lot of authority. Is this Boz? Mm-hmm. Mm. Something like that, Boz. Is that really? not enough authority? <laughs> well, let, I better practice it. Let me hear what you, let me hear your reading. Something like that, Boz. Oh, yeah, that's got it. Come right around right here. Oh, I'll hi, never Albert. be able to fill the bill. Careful of the dog. God. And this is what it looks like, huh? This yeah. Is, you see? Can you do a shot of this? Can we get a shot of this? See Cheryl's picture on it, and <laughs> her name on it, rather, and uh, they circle their little lines. Are you good at learning lines? Are you a quick study? Um, pretty good. The more I do it, the better I get. <laughs> sort of, you know. The more you have to do it. And congratulations. I heard you were terrific. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's going pretty well. It's going great. Everybody looks so happy. I don't see how there could be anything wrong. I've known Kate. Kate did a whole week on my show, and she looks radiant. I don't know whether it's the show or what's going on away from the show, but <laughs> uh, something's working. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun. Were you apprehensive uh, about replacing uh, Farrah Fawcett, uh, who became really the most famous face in America? Well, yeah. <laughs> I would think. Sure. Um, not so much, I don't think, apprehensive about, you know, whether I could handle the part or any of that. But just the idea that uh, she, because she is so popular, could I take the rejection if, in fact, America didn't like me, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> that, that I was apprehensive about, yes. Tell the audience what happens to Jill, uh, which was played by Farrah Fawcett Majors in the series. How do they explain her disappearance? Well, it's not really explained. It's that she's off and doing other things. Uh, I think we mentioned in the first show that she's, she's off in a... In Spain. Uh, in, a, in a race, driving right. a race car. And it's sort of like a sabbatical, I guess. How did you hear about this whole thing? Did a manager call you or somebody call you and say the thing's available? Would you be interested? Um, Aaron's oh. office called me. Aaron Spelling, so. Yes. I had worked for Aaron before several times. In what? Uh, the Rookies. Oh, yes. I had done, and I had done a movie of the week for him also. Smaller parts. Yeah. And uh, as a matter of fact, they, when they were um, looking for a girl uh, to be the daughter in the family, I read for that and came very close in the part. So he was aware of me for a long time. Yeah. Of course, there's always the talk that Alan Ladd Jr., of course, is your brother-in-law, and in, in a what is he, the president of 20th Century Fox? Right. Yeah. Maybe if it had something to do with your being chosen, how do you Well, call that the one? only way I can explain it or say anything about it, I mean, people are going to believe what sure, they want to believe, you know. But the truth of the matter is I've been an actress for seven years. And I have been, I think, just about as good as I am today for seven years. And I've had a lot of rejection. And, and uh, he's a wonderful fella, but he couldn't get me any job. He yeah. really can't. I mean, you, you get... You get work on your own merits, you know. You know what I find interesting? You were signed by George Slaughter to do the, the new Laugh-In, or whatever it's going to be, and he had you under contract. Well, and the contract this... wasn't signed. Oh, I thought it but had been signed. we had been talking very seriously about doing it. Sometimes a verbal agreement is as binding right. as a signed contract. Well, and it was sort of a, a mutually agreed upon decision, and he's a lovely, lovely man, Must you know. Must be, uh, and it wasn't without a lot of thought that, that uh, this role was chosen yeah. over his show. Now, after you were chosen, you've gone through some difficult moments since this <laughs> whole thing started. After you were chosen, the whole thing kind of got underway. There was talk maybe that Farrah Fawcett would come back. Mm -hmm. And uh, what does that feel like when you're in, you know, oh, in shooting? You were in Hawaii, weren't you, shooting a right. segment of this at the time? I've, you know, Mike, I've just sort of been taking it as it comes, a day at a time, because my, you know, of course at first my position was, I mean, I didn't know if I was going to be here from one day to the next, so I was just trying to do my job the best I could do it and, mm -hmm. and stick to it and not let any, er, all the other things get in the way and just do my job, you know. Which she has done fantastically, I'll have to say, <laughs> and adjusted right off. I, 
I have to hand it to her because it was very difficult it thing is a, coming it's in. It is a very difficult thing and, to do. And, you know, Kate and I had been close and, and friends, and then Cheryl comes in, and I, I have to say I take my hat off to you. Thank really. you, Jacqueline. I'll pay you later. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.